In the 1920s, Oparin and Haldane hypothesized that the atmosphere of the primitive Earth contained gases, such as nitrogen, ammonia, methane, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and hydrogen. Oxygen did not become a part of the atmosphere until the advent of photosynthesis millions of years later. It was further hypothesized that under these conditions, organic molecules could be formed if there were a source of energy such as electricity from storms or ultraviolet radiation from the sun. In 1953, Stanley Miller and Harold Urey tested this hypothesis. They constructed a closed system with a reservoir for water, sampling ports, a chamber for the input of electrical energy, and a condenser to convert the water vapor back to a liquid. The researchers then added water, hydrogen gas, methane, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and nitrogen. The water was heated to form a vapor, and electrical sparks were generated to mimic lightning. This apparatus simulated the possible conditions of the early Earth. When the water was analyzed after one week, they found simple carbon compounds such as formaldehyde and hydrogen cyanide. These compounds then combined to produce formic acid, urea, and amino acids. In similar experiments carried out over the next several years, various organic compounds have been synthesized. These experiments show that simple organic compounds, including the building blocks of proteins and other macromolecules, could be formed from gases present in the primitive atmosphere with the input of electrical energy.